very early going here, but uh, your initial read on, uh, let's say, day one, two, and three. Well, I think a couple of the leaders, the, the more experienced leaders like Trudeau and uh, Jagmeet Singh, uh, have certainly kind of reverted to their familiar campaigning modes. Trudeau is looking very prime ministerial. He's talking in his sort of familiar tones. And he is repeating the message that he's been uh, delivering probably now for 18 months, which is we've got your backs and we're here for Canadians. And you're going to be here. I, I, I'm tempted to have a drinking game around those phrases as we move forward, because you're going to be hearing a lot of that from Trudeau. Jagmeet Singh is someone who loves to campaign. He's a rare bird. He's someone who loves to be on the campaign trail, loves that whole experience. And you can see it in the way he moves through the campaign. He actually enjoys it, which is, you know, highly unusual. Um, and then O'Toole seems to have gotten off to a somewhat schizophrenic start. You know, is he, is he running to be prime minister or to be a, a pinup? It's not clear at the moment. And he's had a few stumbles out of the gate. I thought he looked rather weak uh, the day the election was called, partly because he was sort of stuck in that studio, but also because he had no good answers for the most obvious question around vaccinations and whether or not his candidates would be vaccinated. Yeah, Lindsay, some valuable points there. Clive's pointing out your read on this, too, because, you know, just to be clear, whatever people's political ideology is, you know, we kind of knew this was coming and we kind of knew this was coming weeks and weeks ahead of time. We just didn't know the exact date, but uh, it seemed pretty obvious that we were heading toward a federal election. And so to watch some of these leaders, uh, as Clive is pointing out, maybe a little shaky or rusty is perhaps Perhaps surprising. They've had four to six weeks, uh, even longer in some cases, of runway to come out and prepare. Uh, but more than anything, you know, we knew we were going to some kind of election, um, in even if we were to go to go and stretch out to the fall. So everyone's had enough runway. For me, the, the story of the first few days is the man with the plan. The image of uh, Mr. O'Toole is so head scratching to me. Um, I, I don't understand uh, the motive. Um, I understand the idea of creating the everyman, someone accessible. But what they've done is they've competed with something that for years they've kind of mocked um, uh, the, the liberal leader Trudeau for. Um, so I, I find it bizarre. Um, and certainly from an image point of view, he's come out of the gates in almost a comedic frame rather than one of prime ministerial, rather than one of the the leader who's potentially going to lead us uh, through an election or sorry, through definitely through election, but through the pandemic uh, and and improve our, our economy. So it's head scratching at best. All right. We're going to show the uh, the shot in question of their, uh, you know, the front page of their um, campaign platform, which does show Aaron O'Toole. Uh, with his uh, arms crossed, he's in a T-shirt, and it's you know, man with a plan, um, which is which is interesting uh, and an interesting choice. Clive Veroni, your read on it? Well, I would agree with exactly with what Lindsay said. You know, they've been mocking Trudeau since the beginning as being a kind of effete poser, and and here we have this image of uh, of O'Toole on the cover of what is supposed to be a document about how substantial their plan is. So this is a document that's meant to communicate seriousness, substance. And in fact, what it, that cover is doing is communicating exactly the opposite, a kind of superficiality, which is very odd. It's also overwhelmed any messaging that was inside that book, because what everyone has been talking about is what's on the cover of it, rather than the substance that's inside. And there are some substantive ideas there, but they've been totally overwhelmed by this cover. And like Lindsay, I'm scratching my head over why they would have done such a thing.